Howdy, partner. <laughs> it's your boy, uh, Hunt, back with another super fun tabletop recap. This is kind of a bonus episode. It's not a full official episode. I just wanted to talk about a bit of the new merch because, like, the next episode or two, I, I don't talk about this merch because it didn't exist yet when I recorded them, so I want to just give it its own little thing. But, um, I just, I just have to ask... Have you ever had a die or dice that just refuse to roll well during a gaming session? Like a bunch of ones or single digits on a d20, you know, or maybe your damage is like a d8 and you keep rolling like three or lower or something. Uh, you ever want to just lock those dice away until they've learned their lesson? Well, now you can. So the Tabletop Recap Podcast proudly presents these limited edition handcrafted metal dice jails. So when your dice misbehave, you can lock them up until they learn the error of their ways. That is right. We, uh, we're selling merch that isn't t-shirts. And we're going back to eBay also. So these metal dice... Uh, well, dice rehabilitators, uh, can be used in a plethora of ways, right? You can place uh, the gel cell on top of an unlucky die or dice so that you don't have to touch them and transfer their bad luck to other dice. Uh, you can flip the cell over and drop your dice into the jail, Dark Knight Rises style. Uh, and the dice gel can hold just one die or several die at a time. And a lot of dice gels are like built to just hold one or just a d20. This can hold any type of die. It's even big enough to pop a D100 in there. It is. It's big enough for a D100. It's true. Uh, and if you have it upright, you can even place a well-rolling die on the roof of the gel like a pedestal to further shame the misbehaving die underneath. So this handmade metal accessory can also be used in-game. It takes up a 3x3 three three square space on uh, the average game grid. That's what it takes up on mine. Uh, so if a player character or NPC is trapped in a prison cell, or if they've activated a cage trap in a dungeon and it's like dropped and landed over them, uh, this would be the perfect product to help portray that. You know? It's pretty cool. Uh, you can even flip it over and throw a miniature inside to represent a pit trap or something. And of course, as with all things in tabletop role-playing games, you're only limited by your imagination. Uh, the cage can comfortably hold miniatures uh, with a base size all the way up to large. I took a large unicorn. I think it's from one of the Monster Menagerie sets. And it fit right over it and it still had a little room to move around. It's the perfect gift for the tabletop gamer in your life. And the perfect thing to get for yourself if you're a tabletop gamer. Which you probably are if you're listening to this. Uh, and you don't play... Let's say you don't play Dungeons & Dragons. That's fine. This can be used with many tabletop RPGs, uh, including, but not limited to, Pathfinder, Starfinder, Star Wars, Star Trek, Alien, Call of Cthulhu, Conan, Traveler, Power Rangers, Transformers, G.I. Joe, Tiny Frontiers, Vampire the Masquerade, and so much more. They can even be used to punish dice for trading card games. You know? Or board games. Really any other kind of game that uses dice. It's like, I use dice in the Pokemon uh, trading card game. Because they have those official like D6s. You can roll them uh, to be heads or tails. If one is consistently being tails for you, plop it in the dice jail. Plop it in the dice jail. It's fine. No problem. And just remember, these products are limited edition. There's only a dozen so you got to pick them up while supplies last, because when they're gone, they're gone. And there's only, at the time of recording this, because I, of course, posted it, and then I'm recording. There's already only 11 left. So before I'm even promoting it, they're selling. So definitely hurry up and uh, get to them, you know? All proceeds uh, go towards improving the Tabletop Recap podcast the one you're listening to right now and uh please feel free to contact us with any questions you may have uh but we're, we're doing that through ebay 
So we have uh, here in the description of this episode, we have a link to the product page on eBay where you can buy it. The shipping might seem a little expensive, but it's a solid metal piece. It's really heavy. I went to the post office today and I was like, what's the best shipping for this? And they were like, it's really heavy because <laughs> it's solid metal. But you know, you're, you're, you're getting that quality. These are handmade, limited edition, metal, lots of dice cages and stuff uh, that you can find online. They're like 3D printed plastic and they're not painted. You have to wash them and primer them and paint them. You don't have to do this. It's metal jail cell colored because it's made of that metal. Ta-da! <laughs> Easy peasy. Uh, it is a really, really cool product. I'm really happy with it. So yeah, if you have any questions about it, go to the eBay page and you can ask from there. We can ship it to you, but we also have local pickup. So if you're kind of in the Atlanta area, you can come get it from me. I'll meet you somewhere. <laughs> And you can uh, just pick it up. You don't have to pay shipping. You just have to drive to that location. Ta-da. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. And I really hope that uh, you enjoy this product. I do have to give one quick disclaimer. Uh, there's no miniatures or dice included with it. Yeah, you ha uh, th those aren't being sold with it. You... <laughs> So you'll have to use your own because I know there's three different miniatures and several different dice that I show on the uh, eBay listing. But as it says in the description there, and as I'm saying now, those are not included. But there are a ton of pictures if you want to take a gander at them. They're very, very cool. And uh, we're using them in our games. Yeah. Uh, I have one. Uh, and before I listed them, I was like, okay, who wants some of these? So I got them out to my group uh, that I make the podcast with. And then what was left over, we listed on eBay. And currently we have 11 for sale. Yeah. And we use them in our own games now, or we're about to. We haven't met since I got these, but we're gonna... So that's it. If you want one of these metal dice jails or, you know, miniature set pieces, you can use it for all sorts of things. You could use it as something for Warhammer the miniatures can climb up on. A G on the podcast is a big Warhammer guy. Definitely check these out. I think they'll be, uh, it'll be worth your time, and they're definitely worth your money. They are $12 a piece. $12 a piece. Not bad. For solid metal handmade dice cage. Yeah. And there's no like branding or anything on it. You could use it for literally anything. You could use it as like a candle holder or knickknack stand if you wanted. Because there's, no there's nothing on it that says Dungeons and Dragons, Call of Cthulhu, Tabletop Recap. Those aren't on there anywhere. It's, you can use it for literally anything you want. I wanted to make it simple so that imagination could run wild because that's kind of what tabletop rpgs are you know what i mean that's what they're about it's true it's kind of just in the spirit of the game you know in dungeons and dragons call of cthulhu pathfinder all these games the imagination is the only real limitation and so you can do the, with this product really whatever you imagine. Just keep in mind that it is heavy and metal. So uh, be aware of that if you get it for a child as well. But this is a really cool product. I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of it. And I really hope uh, that you'll be proud of yours if you pick one up. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Big Boy Chungus and others will be back on the podcast very soon. Of that, I am sure. Uh, we just all have some busy weekends. I got a busy weekend uh, coming up at work because I'm recording this uh, before President's Day weekend and then 
Big Boy Chungus is doing some volunteer work, and other people we play with are going to cons, so we won't be playing still for a couple of weeks, but I have podcasts scheduled to go live already, so, you know, you'll still have some content from us. That's it. Thank you all once again, and I'll see you all next time, so check out the link in the description, and go get yourself one of these puppies.